Today we're going to be unboxing the Up Air 2 Ultrasonic 1. I guess that is <laughs> 3d plus 4k I'll be happy with just the 4k I'm not worried about 3d <laughs> okay listen I have not taken this out of the box yet the only thing I did was open the lid and lifted up the crate to see that it wasn't you know broken half and then I just put the thing back back on there so I'm gonna when I pull it out, it'll be the first time I'm pulling it out. So let's do it. The box is big. It is a big box, okay? There is the product certification. This is the same stuff that came in the Up Air One. You know the same stuff except this is the up air too and there's this which came in there here's the quick guide here's the packing list QC passed and who did it and all that good stuff all this all this good stuff here okay. Now that's all I did was that. Then I just said, okay, it's not busted in half, and I put it back on. That's what I did. So we're going to move the egg crate. Then we're going to lift it out. Nice, 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 nice. There it is right there. There's the gimbal holder which seems pretty decent actually now this is a three axis gimbal on this thing as compared to the original up air the up air one which had a two axis gimbal and what I noticed about the original up air one um, or the version two is which is the one I had and the one Donnie had um, some gimbals work better than other mine worked pretty good my video was pretty stable on mine Donnie's looked like it had a little bit more jello than uh, than mine did so but I don't know I think he sold his anyway so there's the battery charger here's the bag of props and they're the one set here, and they're the standard, uh, you know, Phantom 3 props is what they are. I don't know what the number on them is, 94, 60s or something, something like that. Here is the transmitter, which they have really, looks like they've improved tremendously. It's very heavy, actually. The transmitter on this thing is extremely heavy. Wow. Must have a big battery in there. There's the phone holder, which is nice. Oh yeah, you could put like a little uh, iPad mini on that. And it's got these real nice grips back here on the back. See that? Wow, that feels nice. Real nice, actually. There's the antennae. There's a little close up of the transmitter here's some function buttons on the side one two and three I'm sure that's like addy mode or GPS hold kind of like the other one the other one was on a toggle switch and it was set up the same way as the Phantom 3 you know the top all the way at the top one would be the GPS mode and then down uh, was the addy mode and then on the third one it was the uh, the flight features mode where the, you could put the follow me in and all that stuff. I'm sure this is the same way. It's just on a little switch like this instead of the toggle switch over here. Then here's a video camera button over here on this side plus the turn the gimbal. There's a little USB port on here. I don't know what that's for yet. Here's the return to home button. 
Here's the takeoff button, and then there's the power button. Shows you how much power is in there. It's like half charged the battery. See? Okay, so that looks good. Yeah, this controller is far better than the other one, as far as the feel of it. Which I have the other one right here. And there was that toggle switch over here. So there's a comparison of those two. Right there. And that's all that's in the box, except the cord for the uh, power supply. Put that back in there for right now. I'm gonna move the box. They give you this little USB cable to charge the controller. Let me see if I can squeeze this gimbal off here, or the gimbal holder. Yeah, it just pops right off of there. That's real nice uh, gimbal holder compared to the Phantom 3. I never actually even used that one. There's the camera right there. And there's the gimbal, which is way nicer than the other gimbal, than the Up Air one. Way nicer. That's actually a professional looking gimbal there. There's the side view of it right there yeah that's way better looking than the original one which i have right here there's the original one there that thing was all just plastic basically the whole gimbal everything was plastic on this original one all of it so this is all metal you know brushed aluminum or whatever maybe stainless who knows yeah that's all metal yep yeah, that's way nicer but the, I uh, the footprint on them to me looks identical there's the new one there we'll put that out there where you can see it I'm um, don't have a real uh, big field of view on this camera I'm using my iPhone to record this because the 4k on the iPhone is way clearer than the 4k on uh, the GoPro or the the Osmo action or whatever the the 4k on this is real clear so that's why I'm using this but it doesn't have the field of view that the other ones have but there if I sit that on top of that Yeah, the footprint is identical on, on the uh, on the quads. Now this one has a bigger battery, I believe. Oh, there went all the vapes. This one has a... Let's see, it's an intelligent battery too. It'll discharge on its own. It's a 5100 milliamp hour. You see that? 15.2 volt the other one was a oh actually the other one was bigger it was a 5400 yep that was the other battery this was a 5200 but it seems a lot heavier so I don't know what the story is with that well, this was only 11.1 .1 volt and this is 15.2 volts so and this battery here on my up air is still good you know this I could still fly this thing the battery hasn't crapped out not yet anyway I'm sure it's coming so there's that and the motors I think are the identical motors too and if you look at them the, they look like real nice motors there's the copper in there is very thick it's not like real cheap looking there's a close-up on the motor there so that looks good hmm. I was looking on here where you would put the okay on the camera right there is where you would uh, plug in your USB if you wanted to update and uh, 
the uh, SD card, the micro SD card goes right up underneath there like that. So, yeah, that's cool. All right, guys, I'm going to get this thing charged up. And we'll get it out there and we'll fly it. Oh, remember my last flight on the original Up Air 1? <laughs> it fell out of the sky and exploded. So, we're going to go a little easy on this one when I first take it out I'm not gonna go up too high with it I went up 60 feet with that and it I think the ESC crapped out and it fell to the ground and broke into a million pieces but I actually flew it the next day I pieced it back together there was no camera or nothing it all exploded out but I had it running the next day it was all bent and everything but it flew you know it still flew so all right, guys, there you go. Up air two. Looks good. Let's get it going. Have a nice day.